this is my second time walking these halls, most of us girls came in with the same thoughts. Like, I am only here because CPS made me come, or drug court made me come. I was already getting my life together. I didn't need to come here again. I have to make it out here. I don't need any help. I knew I needed help again. I was just afraid to admit it. That is a disease. You know, um, they always say, you hear that saying, once an addict, always an addict. And a lot of people don't feel comfortable, you know, hearing that or saying it. Mm -hmm. And what we need to understand is that it is a disease. When my CPS caseworker, Lindsay, dropped me off, I felt sad, scared, and paranoid. As the days turned into weeks, I realized I had to be truthful with myself and my husband and my counselor. I had never wanted to be known as a liar, and that is exactly what I was becoming. I felt sick telling my story every day knowing it was not true. I have learned something very important to my recovery, and that is being honest with myself first and foremost. I have learned what a relapse prevention plan is and what triggers are. I have learned that there are others just like myself and that I am not alone. I have learned to love myself again. Most importantly, I have learned to put God first in my life in every situation. This recovery process here at Aliviane is awesome. I guess I've grown older and I've grown tired of the lifestyle. Um, not only that, but in 2003, I was sent here by CPS. Um, I came in in July 24th, 2013, voluntarily. I turned myself in, no CPS, no probation. And my addiction is pain pills. I um, was addicted to opiates. And um, so I was spending a lot of my money on drugs and not on rent and bills like I should have. And so I became behind on all of that. And I ended up having to send my girls to live with their dad. And I moved in with the boyfriend at the time. And he wasn't, he wasn't good for me. And um, I did it anyway. And just that was my rock bottom. Sometimes we write groups for mothers and the children. We give them activities from arts and crafts to watch movies, play outside. I enjoy most is seeing the children and mothers reconnect after um, time away from being at home and finding distractions and finding that reconnection here. And the kids that come with our clients um, do put that smile on our face and, and remind us all why we do what we do. Uh, but it is a challenge. It is a challenge um, to have at the core of what Aliviane does, family reunification. We want to be able to provide an environment in which uh, the clients can reunite with their, with their children or be in a place where their children can be with them in that DNA. In, in another setting, um, whether it's foster care or it's with, um, with other family members, this gives them an opportunity to be with their loved ones and, and be reaching um, a normal uh, pace in their life, a healthy pace in their life. remember that we're all humans you know we all fall we get up we try again um, a lot of people like to point at us and, and belittle us and you know just uh, I don't know for me it was it was hard because I was a loser I was a drug addict I was pathetic but I knew all that wasn't true I like to look at myself as a very positive person optimistic um, oh. <laughs> I just see myself being the mom that I've always visualized myself being. These past two, two years that I've been in my addiction have been a roller coaster. It's been like my battery didn't work to my car. I wouldn't get it. I wouldn't get it started, you know, and I feel like I'm eager to start it, start the car and just get going, you know. I want to I have a plan set in that me and my counselor have put together um, a relapse prevention plan and um, it's a good one and I'm ready to do it. I'm ready to get started. But I know I have to take it one day at a time, but um, the want is there. I know they know a person, everybody knows a person who's going through an addiction. We all do. 
And if you know that person, take the time to talk to them. Take the time to see what the root of the problem is instead of judging. It's so easy for us to judge and, and look down on others, but it's not easy to walk up to them and try to help them. This is a brain disorder. This is uh, when somebody is going through, through the addiction, um, it's no different than someone that has diabetes. Um, and, and so there's a recovery point and people can live um, free of addiction. They can reach recovery. They can have a, a healthy lifestyle once you go through the treatment and support, um, it is possible.